This electrical panel was installed incorrectly when I purchased the home some 20 plus years ago. Now I, it didn't look this bad originally. Over time I added circuits to it and over time as you can see rust was forming all over it. Much of it caused by the basement humidity and also uh, from it being installed directly under the kitchen above uh, the sink. As I noticed the breakers rusting to the point of causing serious problems, I replaced them. Grounding and adding to the neutral wire bar uh, became um, difficult, much of it because of rust. Some ground wires were so rusted and I had to add two additional bars. Since I wasn't able to attach them to the box inside, I left them floating in the air. Everything was working fine for several years, and then one of the circuit breakers burned open. That did it. I had to break down and purchase a new Siemens panel. The original one used what looked like steel breaker bars versus my new box, which used copper and better conductor. Everything about the old box was wrong. This time, I installed a new box closer to the meter which was located on the front of the house. The old box was at the back of the house, which required an additional 20 feet uh, long of four, the four odd cable and a disconnect switch uh, next to the meter because of the distance. Replacing a panel in the same location isn't so difficult since all of the wires are right there. However, to remove them and move all the wires some distance requires a lot more work. To avoid having no power running the house while all this was going on, I powered the new panel using two double throw 30 amp circuit breakers. By the way, it took three days to move all the wires, add connection boxes, and more wiring. The uh, 30 amp breakers allowed my old panel to still keep its power supply from the meter, which then also kept the new panel fed with the 30 amps. Those wires removed that ended up being too short uh, to reach a new box required additional connection boxes. I always use the deep well boxes for ease of connect connecting wires inside. In the new box, uh, I could have used the neutral bar to also include the ground wires since it, uh, this is the initial starting panel, but instead I used the ground bar. Both were interconnected anyway. I just thought it might look better, but it didn't. To uh, shorten or cut the thick main power line, I used a battery-operated Harford Freight reciprocating saw, which did a fast job of it. Finally, after all was done with lots of new breakers, I made typed identifications on sticky back paper. Thank you for watching. Also, check out my latest books. Uh, one is uh, Presidential Treason of Three Stooges, and the other is NAVC Waste, Fraud, and Abuse. Both are available on Amazon, and visit us at LarryandJane.com. Thank you again.